Hey tankers, how we going? Welcome to Monday Night Replays with Major Rage. We have Shut Up Carl. <laughs> Cruising around in the Tiger 2. We're on Kakarov and it is a standard battle. Alright. Okay, so Carl has spotted a 110. Elusive squid. And apparently we spotted, oh yeah, the STRV. And both of them took a good shot at him. Leaving the engine somewhat damaged. Okay, it looks like everyone's coming through. Tried, tried swamping the comet there, but looks like the comet got around him. And we got the T10 here trying to trying to be sneaky and come down the road. We got the IS that's uh, slowly poking his nose out and taking shots on the KV13 over there. And uh, you know, as you know, as you do, good old teammates getting in the way. Although a good quick drive forwards probably would have worked that a bit easier. But hey, you know. We've got the comet coming back around the back to do a bit of do a bit of damage uh, damage control until he jumps off the cliff. Where is elusive squid back there? Oh, he's right around the back, is he? Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. You want to do that. That's what you want to do. Requesting assistance to take out the IS. Looks like the 110 is finally being distracted by the comet out the back there. That guy's got about half a half a life point left. And ooh, absolutely wreck that T10. Okay, um, cruising up, and are we going to go behind the 100? Uh, the 110? Well, the 110 just dispatched the comet. Now has a Skoda to deal with, but the Skoda cleaned him up. And there goes a bat chat. <laughs> Never even saw it coming. Clever girl. <laughs> okay, so the T25 Mark II is backing up furiously now, trying to get away from his death. But that Skoda T50 just came through and wrecked his day. So we've got a T70, T71 at the top there. Looked like lightning for a second. Um, a T44 and a T29. So we've got a Tank 71, a Tank 44 and a Tank 29. And it looks like we are in danger of the T-71 coming across and capping our base. The T-29 is, was at full health, copped a, a fairly heavy shot to the back of the head. Can we get a shot on that T-71? We could have. Alright, the T-71 has gone off of cap and is chasing down the artillery. But, looks like the artillery shotgunned him in the face, and now we don't have to worry about the T-71 anymore. Yay! Alright, cruising through the old destroyed buildings there. The T-44 didn't even see us coming around the corner until it was far too late. And now we're just going to crush him up against a wall. T-44 shoots and bounces. And well, you, you can see what the Tiger did to him. I don't need to tell you what happened there. 
Ooh, and I don't need to tell you what happened there. Just executed to the side of the head, kaboom, and there's brains all over the wall. <laughs> well done, sir. Yeah, here we are in the aftermarket report for a Shut Up Carl cruising around in the Tiger 2. He was on Karkarov and it was a standard battle. Uh, what sort of damage did we do? We took out a track and we destroyed a track. Well done. Um, okay, overall damage of 2,721. Not too far, maybe 40 behind the, the top guy and a couple of hundred above the guy below him. And then it just goes really bad from there. <laughs> uh, right, so all in all walking away with a mastery badge, ace tanker, a fighter badge, and fire for effect. Well done sir. If you guys like um, Shut Up Carl's replay, I was just going to call him Carl for a second there, if you like Shut Up Carl's replay, leave his name in the comment section down the bottom and that'll count as your vote. Cruising around with Techno Viper and we are in the heavy tank number 6. We're on Winstrom and it is a standard battle. Alright, and we shall kick this in the guts. I thought he was doing a... <laughs> Thought he was doing a jump on it for a minute there, but he's not. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, still, still getting over being a little bit sick. Um, that's most of the reason why I haven't been streaming recently. Because today's about the first day where I can take a breath and not choke up a lung. So, yay for me! Alright, we got a T21 first off the bat, and bang, straight in the front of the nose. I feel that one. Ooh, he managed to reply with taking out our engine. And I think that sounded like a radio that just bit the dust. But he flew too close to the sun, and uh, yeah, melted. Got an 88 sitting over there that didn't realize we were here. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was probably fairly well angled. Okay, Oop, that 88 still has not quite gathered that we are here. Although, yep, now he has. He's moved. We got an OI trying to muscle his way in behind. Techno Viper is calling for help. And bang! There goes the track on the AT8. Techno Viper is still calling for help. We got the AMX that is somewhat answering the call, keeping everyone fairly distracted while we oh, yeah, get a good shot on that R2D2 on top. No. Couldn't go for the R2-D2, so he went for the tractor. Keep him stalled. And hopefully he's got the, um, got the side armor fairly open for the AMX. The Panther copter shot there. And <laughs> the 88 cops another one. Alright, now he is far enough around the corner that one last shot and he was dead. That panther took a cheeky dive out and a shot at the AMX. I saw I saw Techno think, well, if I can shoot him in the back of the head. But unfortunately he was gone before he could do anything about it. Alright, now it looks like the OI is making his appearance again. Ooh, and very luckily bounced off the front armor. You can see Techno Viper aiming for that front sprocket, trying to track him, trying to slow him down. Just wasn't working for him, so, uh, yeah. Ooh, and a good shot for the side of the, uh, the Panther. Unfortunately, he's got a slightly quicker reload, and we lost the radio again. Ooh. 
And that T25 Mark II was quite nicely hiding out around the corner. And luckily for Techno, we've got about 20 feet of armor now. <laughs> the T25 Mark II took a shot, but didn't connect with us, so I don't know if he was aiming for someone behind us. Can't see anyone down that road on the mini-map. Luckily, Techno managed to bounce that shot and just clear up that T25 Mark II. <laughs> okay, and, well, while we were doing all the work down in the city, the guys went round the back and capped out for us. Well done! Here we are in the aftermarket report for Techno Viper, cruising around in the heavy tank number 6. Did I say 4 in game? I always stuff that up. Uh, we were on Windstrom and it was a standard battle. Alright, let's see what we did here. We took out an engine. We knocked out an engine, we took out the track. Uh, we knocked out a track and we injured a radio operator. And knocked out another track and knocked out another radio operator. It was all tracks and radios with this tank, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought that was just the damage we took. Ah, all in all, walking away with a 2,127 damage. Well done, sir. Um, all in all, walking away with a Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. A Fighter Badge. The Shellproof Badge, you don't get that one very often. We get the Duelist Badge, we get Fire for Effect, and we got the Bruiser Badge. Alright, so, if you like... Techno Vipers replay, chuck his name in the comment section down the bottom, and that'll count as your vote. Okay, that does make it go. So it's any shift and go ski. I see ski. Alright, ski. <laughs> Final replay of the night, we are cruising around with Dark Freak. We are in the 88, we're on the airfield, and it is a standard battle. Alright, so, we just saw how to take down an 88, and let's see how an 88 takes everyone else down. And, because it is a slow chunk of junk, compared to that fast chunk of junk, we'll give it a couple of kicks in the guts. And the PZ4, lucky he's got a turret because he can stop, spin, and fire. Old Dark Freak is not interested in the stop, spin, and fire. He's more interested in the set yourself up and kill him dead. With a awesome little Overwatch spot here. Of course, the rest of the team just doesn't follow the plan. Well, the enemy team doesn't follow the plan. Alright, you're going to get a good shot on that KV-1 right in the back of the head. How do you feel about that one? Ooh, and we've got an ELC AMX thinking that he can do something. <laughs> isn't that cute? Why we've got an OI standing behind us is um, completely beyond me, but hey, you know... And there goes an... Ooh. Okay. Hang on. We'll just wait for that again. And there goes an ELC AMX. <laughs> and, ooh, a Churchill 7. Churchill 7. I thought it was a Churchill... Uh, the Tier 5 Churchill for a second there. But, oh, you wouldn't... Oh, yeah, you do get Tier 5s because there's a KB-1. Eh. I'll just shut my yap, shall I? be really nice if that OI wasn't bringing all of the artillery down on us. Mind you, this is more interesting in itself. Watching an OI try and get over a cliff. And in all of this artillery downpour, Mad Dog is... Ah, sorry, not Mad Dog. Dark Freak. Oh, he's he's going to hit me now. I better plug his Twitch and everything. <laughs> uh, by all means, uh, Dark Freak is doing the Twitch streaming, so feel free to check him out. Ooh. 
We are copping some artillery shots left and right, but we've got a couple of targets, so you may as well hit them. Okay. Make hay while the sun shines, they say. Even if it's raining hell above you. I think he finally moved. But we'll lay another one into him just to be sure. Ooh, we're a loader down. And now we're not. <laughs> the loader is dead. Give him a band-aid, he'll be fine. <laughs> No, I mean it. His brains are all over the inside of the turret. Yeah, give him a band-aid. Band-aid will suck it all back in. Okay, so we've got an M4 that is cleared out the mountain for him, actually. We've got no one on Overwatch for us now. And we're about to have an M4 come running up the back of us, I reckon. Yep, speaking of which... Hello, Mr. M4. Ooh, ricocheted off the top. Top of the back of the engine deck. Now, you wouldn't be able to do that if you tried. The M4 is bouncing again. He's really hoping to get a, uh, a side shot on us. But he's not going to. And the Grilly managed to take out the M4 for us. Which means the Grilly was aiming at, me <laughs> at us. <laughs> the grilly was aiming at us, literally saying, just get out of the way, just get out of the way, fall down the cliff, good man. And their grilly is on point. Mind you, so is ours, so can't really complain then, can I? Alright, so we got all the tracks back up. Um, ooh. And that grilly knows exactly where we are. But, the Hummel took out the KV-1. And there's a KV-85 that's about to bite the dust. Oh! I can just imagine that shell. She clipped the top of the thing and just twanged off over the mountains over there. And... I've got to hand it to the artillery in this one. They are on point. We've got two tank destroyers left. And three artillery. And, well, the tank destroyers are doing the job of the lights at the moment. And, oh, Dark Freak has resumed the position behind the bush. You need some camo on that, Dark Freak. You're, uh, you're awfully grey sitting behind that bush there. <laughs> Just playing with the, the dead corpses. Alright, looks like we are on the move again, so let's kick this thing in the guts and see where we go. Apparently there was an 88 last seen in the middle island there somewhere. And now our base is being captured by an 88. Managing to take out our Grilly and our Hummel. Oh no, he's lighting them up for the others. The FV took out the something and their grilly took out our Hummel. <laughs> Dark Freak is literally cruising through and destroying buildings left, right and center. Managing to get a track and ooh, get the kill. Okay, well let's take down a few more of Akmed's houses. Let's face it, it's only building bomb. Anyway, <laughs> okay, um, ooh. either way he was going to hit a grilly. Am I still in, oh, I was still in slightly speed up speed, sorry about that. I wonder why it was getting a bit twitchy as he was going over the rock. Okay, so we've got a grilly chasing down a grilly, and the grilly won. But now the grilly's dead. 
<laughs> okay, it is Dark Freak versus Old Smoke. 88 versus FV304. And at the moment, they're pretty much one hit each, I would assume. Although the 88 doesn't put out that much damage, actually. Bet he's wishing he had a couple of gold rounds left, though. Alright, so, while we play ring ring -a rosie with a, a opponent of a pansy. Alright, we've got a penetration shot on the FV-304 and a kill! Old Smoke has gone down. Well done. Victory! Victory Donuts! Woohoo! Here we are in the aftermarket report for Dark Freak cruising around in the 88. He was on airfield and it was a standard battle. Alright, so what do we do here? We took out a fuel tank, we took out a track, we took out an engine, another track, and another track. If I. Oh, yeah, no, it just doesn't do it. Just doesn't do it. And we got a base defense because we killed the guy on the base. All in all, walking away with a 2,391 damage. Well done. Well done indeed. And, all in all, walking away with a Mastery Badge First Class. A Fire for Effect. A Fighter Badge. The old Master Gunner. And, Ruzer. All in all, walking away with our Pascuis Medal. And, High Caliber. Well done, sir. All right. If you like Dark Freak's replay, chuck it in the uh, chuck his name in the comment section down below, and that'll count as your vote. Final replay of the night, and we are cruising around with Mad Dog the First. We are in the trusty Tiger 131. We're on Ruinberg, and it is a standard battle. The old 131, eh? You don't see many of them getting around. I'm just gonna have a quick look around here see I got this in a I got this in a, a remote control tank um, I like it I've got a little airsoft cannon on it and it scares the hell out of the cat <laughs> highly illegal in this country now um, probably shouldn't actually be telling you I've got it uh, if there are anyone that cares about it the gun doesn't work anymore as I go and take the piston out of the gun so it doesn't fire it only fires plastic pellets, it's all good. Alright, so Mad Dog has found himself a nice little hidey hole to hide behind. Fairly armoured uh, sniping position. Which is uh, pretty cool. They've made a strong push for the water fountain area. Which makes you wonder, yep. If he should have stayed where he was and gotten a couple of good shots. Ooh. That T3485, she hurts. So, Mad Dog, if you're able, I'd be looking at heading back to where you were. Ooh, yeah, mate. You thought you were pretty good with the armor. Not good enough. And that was only a standard shell. Wait till he flicks to gold. Unfortunately, it looks like we've got an interloper into our old spot. The old Tiger 1 here has moved on in. Uh, Mad Dog the first, being the gentleman he is, gives, gives him a little bit of a nudge, takes his damage, and lets him get hit. <laughs> well, I would. Okay, what else have we got there? We got oh, we got another Tiger 131. As I said, as I said before, you don't see many of them. I get proven wrong because there's another one. Ooh, 226 over the top of the Tiger 1. Like literally that went between several several things. Uh, the Tiger 1 in front of us here is taking a bit of damage. I saw that one bounce off the tank and land in the building across the street. So uh, yeah, feel sorry for that family if they were still living there. 
I'll give you a hint. They weren't still living there. Alright, Mad Dog is able to cruise on in and get full coverage of the of the cover. Full use of the cover is what I meant to say. Full coverage of the cover. I sound like a bloody insurance and sale ish. Insurance, that's a insurance salesman. Insurance and salesman. Oh yeah, Eng English. I speak good. Okay, come on, commando. Ooh, that's interesting. Hundred and ten ping. I wonder if that's my ping. Because if if Mad Dog's running at 110 ping, mate, I I think I need to sell you me uh, me nickname of Major Rage. Okay. Um. I've just noticed that the missus is snoring behind me, so I gotta talk more and louder, so yeah, in case she hears the video and ends up kicking me in the head. I had a pretty busy night tonight, so everything got done a little bit later than what it should have, which just reinforces that I should be more on time and doing things proper and getting, you know, hashtag being an adult. All right, well done, Mad Dog. There goes the uh, other Tiger 131. So that's always a, a small mission if you've got a, a tank exactly the same, but on the other other side of the map. And if you can take down your doppelganger, it's always a good thing. There we go. You got a half a shot on the Jag Panzer there. You had a half a shot on the Jag Panzer. Oh. Now you got a better shot on him. Oh, an SU-100Y with full health just ran by. Two hundred and seventeen to the back of the skull. Well done. Uh-oh, we got a Tiger One rushing us. He's literally the only tank up there, so eh, it's better to err on the side of caution and. Take the last 12 health points without getting hit at all. Always a good thing to do. Okay, Mad Dog has realized that there is no one else on this side of the map. Looked like he was... Looks like he was going to uh, head for the cap. But I think they've realized that we can... Okay. I'm interested here. What's the battle tactic here? Go strengthen the back line. I would have I would have enjoyed going the flank, honestly. That T3485M, she packs a punch though, so playing it safe around that tank is probably a good idea. The heavy tank number six is maneuvering himself to a sniper position, probably to try and get better shots on the T29. And the SU-100Y, which is probably only being held by uh, held together by you know tape, a bit of chewing gum, and a couple of bits of rust. There goes the T-3485M. I don't know what he was doing there. He might have been trying to look around, and T-29 took out the Cromwell, so that's not good. The M44 at the back there is doing some, doing something. He hasn't, uh, hasn't got any kills on the board yet. All right, heavy tank number six managed to take out the SU-100, and the T29 is hopefully not going to take out the heavy tank. And, oh, Mr. Number Six. Yes, he's not even looking at Number Six. He's looking at us. All right. T29 is going to kill us if he got one more good shot, but he didn't. 
Ah, the artillery finally did something. Awesome. Gotta love a victory. Here we are in the aftermarket report for Mad Dog the First, cruising around in the Tiger 131. We we're on Ruinburg and it was a standard battle. Alright, let's see what sort of damage this thing can do. It can absolutely knock out an engine and an ammo rack. It can take out a track and destroy an observation device, something chronic. Uh, it can also knock out and kill a track. Also, we can do some damage to another track. So, yeah, boys and girls, keep your tracks uh, well hidden. <laughs> nah. All right. Uh, overall damage of 3,148, which is pretty damn good considering next man down in the Oni, a heavy, heavy, heavy tank, it only managed to pull off 2,500. Um, and uh, I told you, the old T-3485, uh, she packs a punch. Old mate on the other side managed to walk away with 2,900. Uh, okay, so Mad Dog walked away with a Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker. The old Fighter Badge. The Shell Proof Badge. Now, you don't come across that one all the time. Same with the old Master Gunner Badge. Well done. We got the Duelist Badge. The Fire for Effect, just like the old MasterCard, can't leave home without them. And the Bruiser Badge, all in all, walking away with High Calibre. Um, for, uh, cause the highest amount of damage in battle. Well done. Well done indeed. Alright, so, you guys know the drill. If you like Mad Dog's replay, chuck his name in the comment section down the bottom, and that'll count as your vote. And on that note, guys, that is the third and final replay for the night. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you next time. Um, I'm going to be doing some streaming sometime this week, hopefully, if I can get some, uh, you know, get up and go. <laughs> get the get up and go that hasn't already got up and went. And, yeah, we'll have a bit of fun. So come back and subscribe if you haven't already and check it out. I might even get some codes if I can. Alright, catch you later guys. See you!